Okay, so, hello everyone, welcome back to my videos, and today we have an extra special yo-yo here, and it is called the yoyotricks.com atlas. Yoyotricks.com, yes. So we're going to open up this yo-yo, and let's go. Okay, so, we have the atlas, I already hear it's jingling in there, so... I'll grab it. <laughs> well, there goes the counter dice. There you go. Counterweight, counter dice. Um, first off, the first thing I noticed, it, it doesn't really have that much packaging. It just had this counterweight in there. Um, I'll try and put that on in a minute, but I don't know. I've heard it's hard to put those on. Um, extra string, who cares. And the actual yo-yo. So one of the things this yo-yo is known for is the really, really, really wide gap of it. As you can see, it's as wide as my three fingers, and my three fingers are very big. And we'll do a quick edge comparison, like in all of my unboxings. As you can see, it is really pretty wide compared to the edge. And then the manatee right here, the CLYW manatee, great video, go check it out. Um, it's basically the same width as the wide angle shutter, so it still destroys the manatee. But. So, we will string this thing up in just a second, but we're going to quick unscrew it. It comes with blue response pads, which are the ones that last the longest. And they're, they're pretty consistent, and these are probably one of my favorite ones. And it has a center track bearing, it comes with a center track bearing. And I don't know what the axle size is, but C-track, center track, there we go. Now let's go to the video. Okay, so I think the gap of this yo-yo is going to help me out with a lot of tricks. Um, one of the tricks I've been struggling on is boingy boingy boing. I have the motion down, but I can't really get the gap of the yo-yo to... Oh, wow, that the boingy boing really works well with this yo-yo. I can't really do it that great. Are you kidding me? Not the... Uh, so, I'm going to try horizontal right now, <laughs> and I can't really do horizontal, but we're going to try and do it because the gap of the width, the gap of the yo-yo is really wide. Holy cow, I've been practicing with horizontal for a little while now, but I, I can't really hit any tricks. I, I can sometimes hit the trapeze, but this really assists me. Whew, I really like horizontal with this yo-yo. So, this yo-yo is really good, and another thing that some people might notice is the, ga er, the finger spin hub in the middle. I don't I don't really know if it's any good. It's pretty good. Nah, maybe we can buy it. Okay. So now we're gonna try and put the counter dice on it, counterweight on it, and here we go. <laughs> And I know a few 5A tricks, I'm not the most insane at it, but I can do a few tricks with 5A dice. Okay. You're not a Jake Elliott. I'm not a Jake Elliott. Okay. Just try basic 360. Wow, I, I like the counterweight. I had a Duncan freehand ultraweight, but it didn't really work out. This, the, the Duncan one was really heavy, and it kills your arm when you uh, get hit by it. It leaves red marks there, but this one, it, 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 the weight in it is controlled perfectly. I really like that. It, it is a lot wider, lighter than a lot of other yo-yos counterweights. Okay, uh, like beasting, half beasting, my bad, my bad. It's pretty good. Um, Okay, I, I do like this counterweight. I don't know if I can do much else with it, but overall, I really do like this counterweight and the yo-yo, mostly the yo-yo. I'm mostly going to be using it for 1A. I might use it secondary for competing, but yep, that's the yo-yo 
factoryyoyotricks.com atlas. And thank you for watching the video. See you in the next video. Bye. Uh, uh. <laughs>